If you're a beginner to crypto, then this video is for you. Here are different DeFi tools you can use on your journey to getting to the top. Now let's dive straight in. As always, guys, this is not financial advice, so here's your disclaimer. Now let's go to number one is MetaMask. Now, guys, if you are not using MetaMask, you should probably start using it. And you probably already know about MetaMask if you're a little bit into crypto already. So basically, MetaMask is a crypto wallet and blockchain app gateway with over 21 million users. So yeah, you can securely store your crypto on it and you can use your crypto tokens and exchange them on a different exchange or other platforms, etc. So basically, MetaMask is essential if you're going to step into DeFi and trade at all. So I would definitely recommend a metamask and if you want to level up your security you can also tie your treasure or ledger hardware wallet to your metamask for the extra layer of security okay guys so that was kind of a giveaway everyone pretty much knows about metamask so let's dive into number two Number two, you probably want to keep an eye on DeFi and what's going on in DeFi. Right now, you can go to DeFiPulse.com to check out the total value locked in all DeFi projects that it tracks. So, so far, you can see right here, the total value locked in DeFi is over 100 billion, which is pretty staggering. If you go to one year ago and look at the chart, one year ago, right around this time, was only about 23 billion. So, as you can see, the chart is going straight up and to the right. So, this is pretty good news for DeFi right now. Of course, you're going to have your lulls. If remember, you had the time around the summertime when crypto was kind of in a slump, the DeFi Pulse Index went down a little bit. But as you can see, it's going right back on track up and to the right. So, you can see new DeFi projects here. You can also see the top DeFi projects, as you can see right now is on the top followed by curve finance instadap and ave and compound these ones are very popular you got some more uniswap and sushi swap very very familiar names down there and if you go even all the way down you'll see ones that you probably never even heard of like Leon or snow swap octus dfi.money but these are ones that are newly added as well or ones that are just smaller and you can even classify them depending on the different types whether they're a lending platform a dex um, a platform for assets etc so this is definitely a good index to look at and DeFi pulse has their own token which you can even use and track as well with the price of DeFi pulse going up as generally DeFi becomes more popular all right coming in at number three is coinbase wallet now if you are a user of coinbase then this wallet might be something that you might be interested in so Coinbase Wallet, you can use it on Chrome, you can use it on Android, you can use it on iOS. It is more specifically built for the mobile phone. So if you are a big mobile phone user, you can actually store your crypto on here. And the big part of Coinbase Wallet, which I personally like, is that you can store not only your crypto, but you can actually store your NFTs on there as well. So you can actually see your NFTs and view them. So basically it says the easiest way to get from cash to NFT was support for buying crypto with credit or debit cards, blah, blah, blah. You can actually start your NFT collection with just a few taps or clicks. So yeah, I like that Coinbase Coinbase is going into the NFT space as well, not just focusing on coins and tokens because they know that NFTs are the future. So if you're already using Coinbase, why not just jump on their Coinbase wallet? All right, now going to number four. Number four, we have DAP Radar. Now, this is a great place to actually look at different types of dApps. Throughout the platform, you can search, track, and trade everything in the realm of DeFi, NFTs, and crypto-based gaming applications. There's also a portfolio functionality that you can actually use to manage your wallets all in one place. So yeah, there's a lot of different features, like you can track dApps, you can track NFTs, track tokens, track DeFi, track the industry pulse, airdrops, token swap, and portfolio all in one. So yeah, there's quite a lot to do here on DAP Radar. Now let's actually go into the exploration page. We can also take a look at the portfolio app to get a look at what DeFi Pulse has. We can also take a look at the portfolio to take a look at what DAP Radar has to offer. Now, here we go. We have top blockchain dApps. We can also search by Ethereum, EOS, Tron, Networks, all these different types of dApps. And then there's a list of nice dApps. So if you want to find new projects, then Dapp Radar is a good place. You can also track your portfolio here by connecting your wallet. And then you can connect by MetaMask as well. Not only can you track your crypto holdings, you can also track your NFTs. So that's very useful. So yeah, Dapp Radar is a very cool tool. Number five, we have Monolith. Now this is a pretty funky website. It's really cool looking European Monolith DeFi accounts. So yeah, if you like your Visa debit cards to be connected to crypto, you can actually get this Monolith card right here. They also have a functionality where you can buy crypto and top up and spend using your Monolith card. 
Now, this does say that it is a European monolith DeFi account, so if you're not located in the UK or Europe, then you're pretty much out of luck. Luckily, there are other ways to get a card, like you can use Crypto.com's card or BlockFi's card. There are many different places you can have your own card tied to crypto some way, besides using the straight old US bank or other kind of banks that don't support crypto. So if you're really into crypto, you might want to consider getting your own card. Coming in at number six, we have another wallet called Argent. Why do we cover a lot of wallets here? Well, because it's also a good idea to securely store your crypto funds by spreading them out in different wallets and not just leaving them in one place. So we have the Argent wallet, which claims to be a multi-sig wallet and the most simple and secure Ethereum wallet ever. So this could be right because it is multi-sig and open source. You probably want to use an open source place to store your crypto. Just an FYI, for example, if you have a Ledger hardware wallet, Ledger doesn't really have an open source code. They keep their code behind closed doors. So while it is pretty much secure just because of the proven track history, it hasn't really rugged anyone as far as we know. But the code is not open source. Now, it's important to have open source because you can view the code and others can view the code to see if there's anything malicious that could potentially steal your life savings. So it's very, very important to have something that's open source. Now, Archid is currently in the process of having L2 in the waitlist. So you can actually join the waitlist and wait for the L2 integration to come out on the Argent wallet. So keep that in mind that there are definitely new implementations coming out with this type of wallet. But yeah, it's just another wallet option if you don't prefer MetaMask, if you don't prefer Coinbase, or the many different other wallets out there. Okay, coming up next is another solution. If you are in a big business or even a small business, or you just want to have a very safe multi-sig way to store your crypto funds. Now, Nasa Safe it runs a business platform for businesses and other individuals for this exact reason because you can store your crypto on here and there is a multi signature feature on here where you can fully customize how you manage your crypto company's crypto assets with the option to require a predefined number of signatures to confirm transactions. Now, this is very important because if you confirm one transaction with one person, then if that person has the keys to the entire crypto funds that your company owns, then all the crypto funds can basically be gone. So you want to make sure that all your crypto does not rely in the hands of one single person. You want to make sure that there's a few different people, at least, or two different people, three, four, five, six, however many people to actually confirm the transaction before your crypto is moved. If you are in a larger company that holds a lot of crypto, for example, you will see larger companies such as maybe BlockFi, Gemini, uh, other exchanges like Binance, maybe they have multi-signature. They probably do have multi-signature features in their company. Otherwise, if CZ just owns all the crypto and he could just willingly move all the crypto out uh, and, and he controls your funds, then that's probably a very dangerous thing. However, we all trust CZ, right? Right? Now coming in at number eight and number nine is another portfolio tracker series. We have Zerion.io. This one allows you to track your entire wallet. I'm not gonna run through here so much because this is just my throwaway account with my entire life savings of $322 in here. So don't blame me because I am staying poor right now with this account, but you can track your entire portfolio here and track all of your assets across different chains. So it's very important to keep this one type of portfolio tracker with you at all times in case you might lose some kind of token in a different chain. Say if you're aping into a yield farm like Moon River in one of those chains or Cello or some other network that's not really known and you might forget your funds on there and then you realize one day that you have a lot of money somewhere staked in a farm. Well, this can definitely save you from all the hassle of trying to find where you staked your funds because you have a portfolio tracker. Now, you can also use Zapper.fi whichever you prefer they're pretty much the same but you can choose one depending on which one you like the best so those are at number eight and nine all right guys coming in at number 10 we have none other than rug doc why because rug doc is the one-stop shop for all your DeFi needs we have everything you'll need for DeFi. Well, probably not everything, but a lot of things that you need for DeFi here. For example, you can take a look at some of our newest farms that are reviewed, and you can go to the website, check their master chef, get more information, or if you like, even go on our Telegram chat and ask our community where we can answer your questions about everything DeFi. You can also check out the launch calendar on our website, and with the launch calendar itself, you can actually see whenever a farm is launching in your own time zone. So that is actually pretty nifty if you're wanted to be one of the first people to actually ape into a farm. We also have a lot of blogs on here. You can actually check our different blogs. We have comics on here to get entertained and informed in a very unique way. We also have different uh, resources for farm owners. So if you're a farm owner, you can get your project KYC. You can get a review badge on your own website or even audited. So definitely check out our website. We also have some other tools 
like the LP Breaker Tool, Emergency Withdrawal Tool, Honeypot Token Checker, and more. So, number 10 is Rugdock. Now, guys, we have a lot more DeFi tools for you to check out in our own article. Definitely check out the article for some more tools, as well as links to the tools in the article itself. So, guys, do you have any other DeFi tools that you use on a regular basis? I would love to know. We would love to know. Please leave a comment in the description below or join us over on our Telegram chat because we have a lot of DeFi users who are very experienced in DeFi who would love to also know your own opinions. So come join us. And as always, guys, stay safe in the DeFi space and have an amazing day.